Hello everyone, this is Griffin Station back here with another Jump Force video, and in this video I need to talk about the characters that we have in the game, and more specifically, their strengths and their weaknesses. Now I know a lot of people in fighting games have different types of play styles, and so I wanted to list out at least what we can gain from the character selection screen in the game. Now in this game we have levels, and we also have the listed HP and attack for each character along with their physical resistance and their elemental types that they can be good or bad against. Now, I'm not going to really focus on the resistances or the elemental sections of this since we don't have too much information on this at the time, and the numbers for these don't vary too much. The main point I want to focus on is the HP and the attack numbers, and of course these numbers will probably change as we do get level up, but I think that the amount of HP and the amount of attack power that will scale will probably stay around the same as you level up. So the first type of character I would say most people would like to try to play as is a glass cannon. And that character is going to be Shishio. He has a stupidly low amount of HP with 13,600, but he has 600 attack, and 600 attack is the highest that we have in this game, of course, before DLC. 13,600 is also the lowest. The second lowest I can see is 14,100 with Yugi, and so it's a really big difference considering most of the characters have around 15,000 HP, but on the other side, most of the characters also have an attack power of around 550 to 530. So this does balance itself out, so if you really want to play a really strong but really low HP character, choose Shishio. Now, I would say you should choose Shishio if you want a high attacking character, but there's another character in this list that is just better than Shishio on almost all fronts, and that's Togoro. Now, Togoro is not a personal favorite of mine, but Togoro does have close to Shishio's attack power with 580, while his HP is 16,100, the highest in this game. If you want to run any character and you need a tank, you go Togoro. And if you want a high attack power, you also go Togoro. At this point, I don't see how Togoro isn't the best character in this game statistics wise, not counting the fact of his resistances and his elements because looking at those numbers, they do look a little bit lower than the other characters as they're all around the 90s and 95s while other characters have them in the hundreds and even 105s and 110s. So that might make up for Togro's strength in his attack and HP, but I still think these are shocking and surprising numbers nonetheless. You could run Togro and Shishio together to make some sort of wombo combo team. Somebody that is super strong and super weak in terms of HP, but then after we also get Togro, who is just a tank but also deals a lot of damage. I do also want to point out that Sasuke does have the same amount of attack power as Shishio while boasting more HP. Not a whole lot more at 14,100, but still significantly more than what Shishio has. So if you want to run another glass cannon but that has a bit more health than Shishio, go with Sasuke. Combine this with your creative character, which you could probably optimize the stats for. You probably have your strongest team right here. Now, I do want to mention that there are a bunch of combinations that I have not gone through, and so we could be seeing a lot of characters that don't necessarily seem like they would be a great combo, but then after once you start playing them and you put them together in a team, I will show off the characters that have the highest HP to lowest HP, and then the characters that have the 
highest attack to lowest attack, so you have your priority when choosing your characters.